Qatar. More time passes and another World Cup big shock takes place. On day four of the World Cup, Japan stunned the world by beating Germany. This upset was nearly as shocking as Saudi Arabia's victory over tournament favourites, Argentina, on day three. As the games at the World Cup 2022 Qatar progress towards the finals, many must be wondering what other phenomenal upsets lie in store. Hello and welcome to Goalside. In today's video, we'll talk about another big upset that happened in the World Cup in Qatar. Make sure to stick around to the end of this video. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the post notifications. So without wasting any time, let's dive right into the video. With goals from Ritsu Doan and Takuma Asano in stoppage time, Japan edged out Germany 2-1 on Wednesday. Doan and Asano are both regulars for German clubs. For me, this is a truly monumental achievement. From what I understand of the history of Japanese soccer and its players, this came as quite a shock, said Japan's head coach Hajime Moriyasu whose team featured no fewer than five players with German ties in the starting 11 and three more, including both of its team's goalscorers, on the bench. They're competing in a league full of elite athletes. They've been training hard to increase their power. In this light, we hold that the Bundesliga and the second division have helped cultivate Japanese players, is what Morias had to say about it. The words thank you don't seem like enough. Four times champion Germany took the lead thanks to a penalty kick from Ilkay Gundogan in the first half. Doan of Freiburg pounced on a rebound to tie the game in the 76th minute after Germany's Manuel Neuer blocked a shot from Takumi Minamino. Then, in the 83rd minute of the first competitive meeting between the two countries, Asano of Bochum sprinted past Nico Schlotterbeck and beat Neuer from a tight angle. Argentina lost 2-1 to Saudi Arabia in an unexpected upset the day before. Germany's players reportedly covered their mouths during the pre-game team photo on Wednesday as a snub to FIFA for cancelling plans to wear armbands in protest of discrimination in host country Qatar. German sports minister Nancy Faeser sat next to FIFA president Gianni Infantino at the match in the Khalifa International Stadium while both wore the One Love armbands that FIFA had previously banned and threatened players with suspension or expulsion for wearing. Germany had only previously lost its opening game twice before, both times to Algeria in 1982 and Mexico in 2018. Germany's record in previous World Cup opening games was 13 wins, 4 draws. Overall, Germany was the better team, with 24 shots on goal to Japan's 11. Japanese goalkeeper Shuichi Gonda was named the game's most valuable player, despite allowing the winning penalty by making a series of crucial saves. We fought as a team, Gonda emphasized. We can't afford to stop working at all. Japan's next opponent will be Costa Rica, while Germany will take on Spain this coming weekend. Due to Qatar's human rights record and its treatment of migrant workers and members of the LGBTQ community, the lead-up in Germany was fraught with protests and political statements. Germany was making its first World Cup appearance since its shocking elimination from the tournament in the group stage as defending champions in 2018, while Japan is making its seventh consecutive World Cup appearance and is hoping to advance to the tournament's quarterfinals for the first time in its history. Japan were on the cusp of eliminating Belgium and advancing to the World Cup quarterfinals four years ago. Starting off this run, they pulled off arguably their biggest upset ever by defeating four-time defending world champions Germany. This team was able to keep their cool and make the kinds of substitutions that turn games around, and that was a big reason for their 2-1 victory. Japan's coach Hajime Moriyasu made all the right moves with his substitutions after going down a goal after goalkeeper Shuichi Gonda gave away a penalty in a first half in which Germany barely had any chances. Takumi Minamino, in his own sometimes sloppy way, wreaked havoc and played a big part in the equaliser. Kaoro Mitoma provided creativity and invention down the left. Takuma Asano was a whirlwind of energy and precision. Takahiro Tomiyasu provided the kind of stability at the back that allowed Japan to be more attacking. Japan changed their strategy from counter-attacking to a pressing midfield game and a hit-in-transition style that shook Germany in the second half. Is the Japan national football team capable of winning the World Cup? Tell us in the comments. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon with the next video. Thank you so much for watching.